To write code for the Tinksy microcontroller, you need two pieces of software. One is Arduino, and the other is Tinksy Duino. Before you download Arduino, click on the Tinksy Duino site. So here I've done a search for Tinksy download, and it's the first link. We're going to take a look here, and the Tinksy Duino is uh, the latest version is 1.52, um, and it supports these versions of Arduino. So make sure that when you get to Arduino, you don't download a version that is higher than this number here. So let's do a search for Arduino download. And you can see that this is Arduino 1.8.12, which matches what the Tinksy supports, so you can download the latest version. Because I'm on a Windows machine, I'm going to use the Windows installer here. If you are not an administrator, you can use the Windows zip file as well. You can contribute money if you want or just download. And it will take a few seconds to download this here. Okay, so you want to open up that folder and run the executable. Create the license, install everything as default. This is going to put it in your program files, the um, x86 folder under Arduino. You can put it other places, but I would just use the default. It'll take a second to build. If it's completed, you can close. Okay, and it will be here under Windows, Program Files, x86. There is Arduino. And then we're going to look at Arduino. .exe. If you can't see the, uh, the extensions, I recommend you go to View and check on File Extensions. I always like to do this with a Windows machine. It's not necessary to do uh, this step. On a Mac, it absolutely is. But the first thing I would do is I would just open up Arduino just to make sure that it's going to run. You'll get this, and with nothing else, all you have to do is verify, even though there's no actual code inside the template window here. It's done, it works, you can close this now. It's important that you close it. Because if you just have Arduino, you can stop here and just use the Arduino uh, IDE. But because um, we want to install for the Tinksy, we have to install one more piece of software, which is going to handshake between the Arduino IDE and the Tinksy microcontroller itself. So we go back to the internet, and we'll look at now the Tinksy Duino. Again, I'm on a Windows machine, so I'm going to be downloading this installer here. It installs another installation program. We'll wait for that to install. Again, this is the Handshake app between the Arduino and the microcontroller. The Tinksy microcontroller. Almost done. There we go. So, now we just install this. If you don't have the driver installed, you need to update the driver, but often we'll find it now with modern machines. Make sure, this is the important piece, make sure that you have found the folder that you installed the Arduino in the last step. So it should default to this, but if, if you put it someplace else, you'll need to find it. These buttons will be grayed out until you actually find the Arduino folder. I highly, highly, highly recommend installing all the libraries that you see here. And then this is the most annoying page. You have to press the install button after you press the install button. And it'll take a few seconds to install. Okay. Press done. And now you're done. So now that the Arduino IDE and the Tinsy Duino have been installed, let's take a look to see if it works. Back in the Windows Program Files, x86, we could double click here if we wanted to run it. We could right click to pin it to the taskbar or to the start menu. I prefer the taskbar personally. That loads it down here. Got always ready. And so when we open it, it takes a second. We know it's, it works if you go to Tools and then go to Board and notice that there are all of these extra teensy boards here that you're allowed to, to choose. You should have, and I'm sorry I didn't, 
But when, when we installed the Arduino IDE, you would only have these Arduino and li lily pad boards that you have options to choose. But as soon as you install the Teensy Duino, then you have also all of these options as well. If we choose port, look at port, there's no Teensy uh, installed right now, so I don't have a Teensy plugged in, so there's not a COM port that I can use. And let's, let's try that now. So the place where I go to get all of my robotics stuff is Patent Robotics. And this is the Teensy 3.2 that we use at my school. And then the best thing, I think, that the best board on the market by far, I think, is the Patent Robotics motherboard, like you see here. You can buy the 3.5 motherboard as well as the 3.5 and the 4.0 Teensies here on his site. We typically use the Teensy 3.2 and the, and the Patent Robotics motherboard for the Teensy 3.2. You can also buy my textbooks here. A little shout out to myself. All right, so let's take a look at what these look like. This, this guy here in the middle is the Teensy 3.2 microcontroller connected to the Patent Robotics motherboard. It, it, is, it, it makes uh, connecting programming robots a breeze and embedded controllers so with um, physical computing sensors and things like that. It's super easy to plug in. We've got loads and loads of male and female pins along with power switches here. But if you wanted the a little bit more power, the Teensy 4.0 or the Teensy 3.5 with the Patent Robotics uh, motherboard for the for the 3.5 is a great way to go as well. So this is what it looks like physically. Let's see what happens once we connect it. Okay. And so if you have a brand new Teensy, you'll get the the Blink command, uh, the, the Blink application running. You might have heard my computer make a little uh, plinky sound whenever this was connected. If it's the first time you've installed the Teensy onto your machine, or the first time you've installed this particular Teensy on your on your robot, or uh, I mean on your on your laptop, or if you've used a different port, a USB port, you might want to give it a few seconds just to do some handshaking. Let's see. So if we minimize this guy here, sometimes you'll see a little pop-up window down here that says the Teensy. Uh, has been installed or a new USB driver has been installed. Just give it a few minutes and it will find it for you. But you can see if it works if you go to back to the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, go down to Port, and now you'll see that there's a COM port, COM4, where this Teensy that I have on my desk is now plugged in. So I choose that guy there. Okay, I'm just going to minimize this. And now you're ready to program. Before you actually start writing code, I would recommend that you create a folder for yourself. Here's one that I've created called Teensy Apps on my hard drive. And there's, there's nothing here. It's, it's, it's empty. So if we wanted to write a piece of code over here, you could. I, I would recommend storing it in lo one location. So for example, if we go to File, Examples, Basic, and Blink, this is a great thing great diagnostic uh, application to run it's it, it is it's really nice if your if your robot's not working or if your teensy's not working properly this if it doesn't work you've got a problem with a physical connection because this always works i won't go into what the code does but it makes the little led on the teensy blink and let's see here so you can see it blinking here and it blinks at a rate of 1,000 milliseconds on and 1,000 milliseconds off. If we knock that down, edit it to 100 milliseconds on and 100 milliseconds off, it will blink much faster. This code needs to be saved. Well, actually, you can upload it. Uploading is a little different than verifying. Verifying means that the sketch is verified but not uploaded, and you do not need to plug a microcontroller to do this. Now notice that with the Teensy, you get this extra little window that pops up. I would just leave it. Don't need to close it. Uh, you can hide it if you want to. You can put it in a corner, but but just that is the, the Handshake app in between the Arduino and the Teensy. And so we've uploaded our code and notice now it's blinking much faster. Okay, and I can change 
the first time you upload it takes a few seconds and the second time you upload takes much less time all right so this is working great and you know you're off to the races we're done if you wanted to save this for example this is an example piece of code so it's written inside the Team C architecture so we can save as go to file save as and then find the desktop and you can save it locally in your own files save it as blank and now you can see that now we have blank here and that code and this code are the same so you're ready to go but i would point out a few things number one while it's uploading you don't want to touch the reset button you don't want to unplug the, the cable you certainly don't want to unplug it from the computer you don't want to upload and then if you get impatient upload again while it's uploading you want to leave your hands off of it and just let the uploading happen occasionally it will get stuck in an upload and i would give it a good two or three minutes to make sure that it's locked up and then if you want to break out of that you can press the save button and that will oftentimes break out of the lockup you have when you upload so just make sure that when you upload you just give it time because if you unplug this while it's uploading then you're really going to ruin the chip you cannot use it if it's in the middle of uploading and you unplug the the cable it will be in a state of constantly looking for the rest of that code for the rest of its life and and that's how most students destroy their teensies also they'll throw these in a backpack with the programming cable and that little guy right there that little connector will just pop off if you apply some force to it you know it will it will pop off pretty easily so so just be careful but once it is uploaded and you're you know it's it's no longer compiling and you no longer have this the the taskbar there then you can whenever you're done you can unplug it from here or unplug it from the computer no problem all right that's it that's all there is to it to getting started with the teensy and the arduino ide